Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick wrap up for what I read during the National Library Week readathon. I just wanted to really quickly say thank you so much to everyone who participated. It was an absolute blast. I had so much fun getting on the Twitter and seeing everyone's progress and seeing your all's TBR videos. I hope that you guys also post wrap up videos. I'm looking forward to seeing those as well. So let's just get into what I read. I only read three things, which I was a little disappointed by, but I still consider this whole thing a success. It was a lot of fun. So. I'm not going to be too stressed about the amount of books that I read. So first I read Alex and Ada Volume 2 and this completed the challenge to read a graphic novel from the library. I liked it so much more than the first volume and this is a very character driven story and I feel like in this volume we really got to know Alex and Ada. I kind of fell in love with them. I adore Alex. He's so sweet and just oh, I want to marry him. I love the artwork in these books. It's neutral colors and there's not a whole lot of action going on but it's just it's very very beautiful. I love where the story is going so this was just fantastic and I cannot wait for the third volume to come out. I don't know when it will. It's probably gonna be a while. I've actually been considering giving it a five stars because I really really loved it so I highly recommend this series. Then I listened to the audiobook of Crossed by Ali Condi and so this completed the challenge to listen to an audiobook from the library. I really enjoyed the audiobook but as far as the actual story I just kind of felt like it was okay. I gave it a 3.5 stars because it was very enjoyable. Right after I got done reading it I thought I was gonna give it a four stars but I was like uh it's not quite four stars so that's why I went with 3.5. Nothing really crazy crazy happened in this book. I mean there were some interesting things going on but it just happened at a pretty slow pace. I think the reason why I enjoy these books is the writing style really is beautiful. I would definitely recommend the audiobook if you guys are considering reading this series. As far as recommending the series, maybe if you have not read very many dystopians this might be kind of a good series to start with. But for those of you who have read quite a few dystopians, this isn't really anything that exciting. It's kind of your typical dystopian society. I will be continuing on with the series mainly because these books kind of have some nostalgia attached to them. The first book matched. I got it long before I was collecting books like I am now and it was one of the first books that I really owned on my bookshelf that was fiction. So you know I just I want to finish up the series. I enjoyed it um, but I liked the audiobook I think more than the actual book. Then I read The World's Strongest Librarian by Josh Hannah Garney and this completed the challenge to read a book with the word library or a librarian in the title. This is a memoir about Josh and it talks a lot about his Tourette's. He was diagnosed very young and so it's about him growing up with that and dealing with it. It's very heavily focused on family. It talks a lot about his faith as a Mormon, how he was raised in a Mormon family, and how he kind of struggles with his faith all throughout his life. It talks a lot about his job as a librarian and he talks about his love for the library and how that started at such a young age. It made this book perfect to read for National library week. This guy has gone through a lot of stuff in his life and he finds solace in books as well as weightlifting which is where the title comes from and it's just all about his life and I think he's a very interesting person. He definitely had some very interesting things to talk about and I pretty much loved every second of this. I kind of read half of the physical book and then listened to the audiobook half of the time mainly because I was trying to finish this so quickly that I wanted to be reading it while I was doing other things so the audiobook was kind of the perfect solution for that and I really loved the audiobook so I would recommend either one because they were both fantastic. This is such a great memoir. I mean I'm not really someone who's super experienced with reading a lot of memoirs but in my opinion this was a very good one. It was done really well. It kept my interest the entire time. I laughed so many times. I gave it a four stars and the only reason I didn't give it five is because the ending I don't know I just kind of wanted something a little different. I mean I understand why he ended it the way that he did but I would have I don't know. I was expecting something a little different for the ending. But anyway, I really liked this and I definitely recommend that you pick it up at some point. So those are the only things that I finished during the readathon and that means that there was one challenge that I did not complete and that was the challenge to read a children's book from the library. I had the intention of reading this book to fulfill that challenge which is The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Led the Revels There by Catherine M. Valente and I did read, let's see, I read 90 pages of it during the readathon so I did read some but I just didn't finish it so I will be finishing this before April is over I hope anyway so yeah I just didn't I didn't get to finish it but that's okay I still ended up reading three things so I guess I'm happy with that so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye